Oh, what's going on my YouTube? My name is Legacy, and today we're going to talk about Mr. Gohan, we're always going to play in the new movie of Revival of Earth. So we've seen Mr. Mr. Gohan, what we think Mr. Gohan's going to look like. He looks like a, an idiot. And then we see a lot of two images on Gohan on the screen, which make no sense. So what people were thinking is the first picture on the left was actually Goten. Goten grew up, and um, this makes sense, because Gohan's hair looks a lot different. He looks a lot, a lot, a lot younger than what he uh, looked like in Battle of Gods. And it's only a three-year time skip. And he's also wearing a jumpsuit, which makes some sense. And then, and the other scene we see is the right picture. We see Gohan going Super Saiyan, which then I realized he's wearing the same exact clothes, both the green jumpsuit. So, is that actually Gohan, or is Goten just copying his brother? That doesn't make any sense. And he doesn't look like Gohan at all, the left side. The picture on the right, he looks like Gohan going Super Saiyan. It looks pretty badass. But here's where it comes in. There's no, I, I don't think there's gonna be a Mr. Gohan. Yes, he's, you can still call him Mr. Gohan, but I don't think he's gonna be like full power mystic, like how he was in Super Saiyan. I mean, against Super Saiyan, yeah. So in Battle of the Gods, it was already confirmed that Gohan was not full power mystic because he didn't train. And Elder Kai said that there's no point of Gohan going Super Saiyan, because if he did, Gohan went Super Saiyan, then uh, he would just be training his own energy. So why did Gohan go Super Saiyan in the movie? Is it because the trailer? Is it because he was showing off the freezer that the Saiyans have evolved into something greater and that you stand no chance? Or is it that maybe Gohan can go Super Saiyan in mystic form and not drain any energy? Or is it just that Gohan doesn't have any mystic anymore? Or maybe just go like Super Saiyan 1, 2, and uh, we all know Gohan's not, I, I, Gohan's not gonna defeat Frieza at all. Gohan and Roshi and Piccolo and all the other Z fighters are gonna be taking up Frieza's men, which are thousands. Now, if you don't know the plot of Revival of Death, basically, after the after the Battle of Frieza, two men of Frieza survived and they've been gathering Dragon Ball. So they revived Frieza and all its men. And the two men that I believe are on the screen right now, and uh, they're these like, one shit looks like an onion and the other looks like a, um, a badass. Those two are the people that I believe are Frieza because we've never seen them before. We've never seen them in anything that's in any Frieza. And they look completely new. And I don't know why the guy on the right that looks like he has slime on him. Looks like he just came out of someone's mouth. So maybe like they all got came out of Shenron's mouth. And when Frieza comes, you can also see them coming out of his tail. I don't know what that is. Maybe maybe it's like the resurrection thing. He was like putting maybe that's one of the resurrection formula or something that they use or uh, to revive Frieza or something like that, I don't know. And um, another thing is that Gohan, he's probably gonna be the one to defeat most of the Z Fighters. Even though Gohan is not full power anymore, he's still strongest among the Z Fighters, besides, of course, Goku and Vegeta. He's still strong. Piccolo, nah. Uh, Yamcha, yeah, Yamcha. Tien, no. Uh, Krillin, God. And um, the other people are not good. A lot of people think Pan will play a role. Pan is only like, what, two years old? Two and a half, maybe? Because the movie she was pregnant in uh, Battle of Gods, so nine months of pregnancy, so it would be about, yeah, it'd be about two and a half, or maybe one and a half years. She's not gonna play any role. Maybe she's playing a role in the God or something, I don't know. But no, she's not gonna fight or anything. <laughs> or she's not gonna go like Super Saiyan God and Shrek everyone, even though that'd be pretty damn epic. But, <clears throat> back to Gohan. And why is Gohan wearing a jumpsuit? Uh, that doesn't make any sense. Where is his old attire? Where is his mystic Gohan? Where's Go his dad's attire? Um, obviously, he wasn't training with the gods because uh, the god symbol is only on Goku and Vegeta. You can see him on their shirts. Well, that's what we think is. It's the god symbol. And the scene was Goku with Whis. Goku Vegeta with Whis. So, uh, yeah, they probably were training with them. So, why is Gohan in a jumpsuit? Was he uh, substituting for a gym teacher? Now, he has, he has a daughter now, so he needs to get a job to support his family. Maybe he was a gym teacher now or something. Maybe just didn't have time to change or something. Or maybe jumpsuit, maybe it was training. Maybe it was like doing running exercises or something, but then he could do that in his old attire. Doesn't make sense for him to change. Honestly, uh, I don't think Gohan's gonna play a big role in the movie. I think he's just gonna be another character, and that's pissing me off because I love Gohan. I love Gohan. I love Gohan. I love Gohan. Gohan's my favorite character in the entire show. I love him so much. But he's, he's jacked up now. Character Armor messed him up. He was amazing. In Cell Saga, he was okay in the Freezer Saga. He was amazing in the Majin Buu Saga. He was okay in all. He was amazing in all those. 
and he actually did good against Frieza in his kid form. He's probably going to do better than that than he's going to do against Frieza in this form. I doubt he's even going to beat Frieza, and if he does, that's going to be the most awkward issue that you've ever seen. Um, yeah, that's about it, guys. That's about all like, I've talked about about Gohan and what I think what Molly's going to play in the movie. If you guys do enjoy it, please like, buy, and subscribe. And yeah, see you guys in the next video. Peace.